you here. Can't believe it, May is over. It's time to plan for the first week of June. And I need to adjust, whoops, my camera here just a little bit because it was falling over on me. There we go. So I've decided that for the month of June, I wanna go back to trying to use one sticker book for the entire month. So I picked out my Rung Rung sticker books. So I have this petite sticker pack and then this one is the everyday, but I've really got some loose sheets in here that are from a bunch of different wrong, wrong books. So I've done a little bit of pre-planning so we can dive right into this. Move my planner out of the way there. There we go. All right. So I thought these were nice, fun, bright colors to start June off with. And let's move this out of the way. I'm gonna start with this one. So I really liked the sticker that said, live in the dream. If I get the corner to peel up here. So I wanted to put it right here above notes. And then I pulled out this that just says to-do list. I'm gonna put it in cover-up notes. So there are a few things that I know I have to get done this week. So I wanted to make a special checklist to really help call those things out and keep them separated out from my week. All right, Monday is Memorial Day. So we wanna get a big reminder right there. Well, that went down crooked as all get out. There we go. And then I want to go in with some checklist stickers here. And I'm just gonna kind of stagger them around on the page a little bit because I don't want my page to be too linear this week. And I really liked the sticker that says celebrate every day. And then we have one that just says Squad goals. And then just kind of a fun, whoops, wrong, wrong girl. And I want to put this remember header right here. And then I have a bill pay sticker out of the budget book that needs to go in on the first. So there's one side of the page. We're gonna come over here and I have this double box that I would put right down here. If I can get it to line up. All right. So then I'm gonna get my checklists down. So I've been pretty proud of myself so far, I made a commitment to myself 
that right now I do not need any more planner supplies. I don't need any more planners. I don't need washi tape. I don't need stickers. I need to focus on what I have in my stash and using it up before I start buying a bunch of new stuff. And so far, I have not purchased anything from the last Happy Planner release, which is a huge accomplishment for me. Usually as soon as it hits the stores, I am out stocking Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby and trying to get all the things. But you know what? I have so many cute stickers in the sticker books that I already have that I had kind of almost forgot about. This wrong wrong book had kind of gotten pushed to the back of things. So this has really been making me evaluate what I have. It's another important and down here a remember which went very very crooked. So I'd love to hear in the comments below are you uh, get it all, have to have it all person, or do you focus on just certain styles of sticker books and planners, or have you, like me, amassed such a huge collection that you need to step back and be thankful for what you already have? the weekend sticker and there you have it that is my spread for the week of may 31st which is the first week of june and i'm really happy with the way it came out i think it's bright it's colorful it's summer it's super cute and i can't wait to start putting my plans in it so if you like this video hit the like button below if you want to see more of my videos, consider subscribing and happy planning everyone.